So this morning we heard, we heard from the Environment Commission this morning about uh, some of the concerns and risks and challenges associated with preparing and adapting to what's coming from a climate change perspective. In this region we've seen very clearly some of the impacts of change with some of the recent flooding that we've had, uh, even as recent as this spring with some of the shoreline impacts in the Leamington area and on Point Pelee and Pelee Island. We know that there's there's value in, in partnerships and trying to come together to try to resolve and find ways of adapting and dealing with these issues. So today's workshop is the start of that conversation. We've uh, we've brought um, all of our member municipalities together. We have planners and engineers. Uh, we have health units. We have uh, provincial agencies here. We have some friends from across the river uh, to talk about things that are going on in Detroit and Lower Michigan. And the idea is to come out and, and talk about how do we move forward as a region in trying to develop some plans and strategies to uh, to deal with climate change and ultimately improve the resilience of our communities to respond. You know, climate change has brought a lot of different things. Um, certainly we've seen very closely the change in weather patterns. We've seen what used to be uh, more consistent storms now dropping uh, a great amount of rain in a very, very short period of time in a very, very isolated part of our region. It's really difficult to deal with those types of things and to prepare a plan for those, it was a lot easier years ago. So we need to be more aware of what the weather is doing. When those storm events happen in different parts of our region, in our agricultural landscape, what used to be snow in the winter is now rain in the winter, and that's causing some very different impacts on water quality in our Great Lakes and, and the impacts on, on blue-green algae and phosphorus. And So we, we have to deal with those issues. We have to deal with uh, identifying where we've had habitat loss or where we've had wetland loss. Are there opportunities to rebuild some of those areas and, and restore some of the natural heritage that we used to have as a region? When Burka was established in 1973, we had a, less than three and a half percent natural area cover. We're at eight and a half percent now which is a tremendous improvement but still a long ways to go and need to identify where are those key areas that we should be working on.